Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Earlier today, this morning, uh, Hurricane Dorian made landfall on Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Now it's over the open water and it's becoming better organized. So a Category 1 hurricane could actually become a Category 2 hurricane tonight. You can see that the eye, as it's moving away from the Middle Atlantic coast, is becoming tighter and it's actually more well-defined. So the Hurricane Center is forecasting the storm to strengthen tonight. All right, there it is right now, a Category 1 hurricane, winds of 90 miles an hour, located about 300 miles miles, 330 miles to the south southwest of Nantucket Island. And then the Hurricane Center is forecasting it to become a Category 2 hurricane south of Nantucket as we go into the wee hours of the morning tomorrow morning around 2 a.m. with winds of 100 miles an hour. And then look, later in the day tomorrow, it slams head on into Nova Scotia and it could be a Category 1 hurricane going into Newfoundland. So it looks like the Canadian Maritimes are going to actually feel worse effects from Dorian than we will here in New England. So here are the hurricane force winds now offshore. They're going to stay to the south of New England as we go through uh, later tonight on into tomorrow morning. But notice the tropical storm force winds go right over Cape Cod and the islands and then hurricane force winds go right over uh, Nova Scotia as we go into uh, late in the day tomorrow. So not good news for the Canadian Maritimes. Hurricane warnings are in effect for them. Tropical storm warnings in effect for a good portion of the New England coastline all the way down into the mid-Atlantic states. But for the mid-Atlantic hurricane warnings are no longer in effect. So tonight we'll have showers and periods of rain. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some heavier downpours in some parts of the state get an inch of rain or more. Winds gusting to 20 to 40 miles an hour. Breezy and showery early tomorrow morning then partly sunny in the afternoon as Dorian races away toward the Canadian Maritimes and Sunday, mostly sunny, dry and mild. So we got the bands of rain moving in right now. Some of that rain is moderate to heavy, so be aware of that. There's our ICAM at Hartford looking okay for now, but we have had rain in New Haven and also in New London where you can see the gray overcast skies. Temperatures are in the upper 50s and 60s, so it's breezy, it's cool. We got a wind gusting to 29 miles an hour in Bridgeport, but it was gusting to over 30 miles an hour not that long ago. So so here we have Dorian off to our south with the leading rain bands moving on into Connecticut, a very well-defined circulation. And future catch shows that we'll have periods of rain tonight and still some lingering showers tomorrow morning. Heavy rain across the Cape, but then weather conditions improve for tomorrow afternoon as the sky becomes partly sunny. So it will turn out to be a nice day. 50s tonight, breezy, showers likely, some heavier downpours here and there, and highs tomorrow in the low and middle 70s. Now your seven-day forecast, beautiful sun. Monday, mostly sunny and breezy, 75. Monday and Tuesday, 70s in the day, 40s and 50s at night. Plenty of sunshine, warmer Wednesday and Thursday, 80 or higher with a chance for a thunderstorm both days. And for the shoreline, 74 Saturday and 77, the forecast high for your Sunday.